coordinates part two. This is the second video I wanted to quickly show you. So the last one, I was talking about the coordinates in terms of the quadrants, okay, and where you put things. Now here I've got another uh, graph all written up for you. Now this one, we've got the green lines, again, representing the zero line. Okay, zero line for the Y, okay, zero line for the X. Okay, so you can see I've got the Y and the X all set up there, so you can see it really nice and clearly. Now, if I'm going to try and find coordinates on this graph, I need to remember about my quadrants. Okay, so the, those sections there. So I'll come back to this in a second. All right, so let's say I'm trying to find these coordinates. I'm trying to find 1, 5. Okay, so 1, the first value in a coordinate is always x. So x, remember, x is along this line here. Okay, so it's the horizontal one. So we're going from this line that way, or this line that way. Okay, so if I'm looking for 1, I go here and I count 1 that way. So I go, okay, so I'm looking along this line here for x. Okay, so the first one is 1, so it's here along, along this line. And then Y, it says 5, so I need to find the fifth one. So I go up now, because it's in the positive. So you can remember up here it says positive Y, positive X. So both of my numbers are positive, so I'm in this quadrant here, okay, which is this one here. Okay, so I go 1 across, and then I'm going 5 up. 1, 2, 3... Four, oh, I don't even have a line there. Five. So I put that dot right there. So that coordinate would then be written as one, five. All right. Then if I'm looking for another coordinate, let's say I'm draw, I'm looking for another coordinate, and the coordinate is uh, negative one and two. Okay. So negative one on the x-axis and 2. So if we're looking at our quadrants, if I'm looking here, this section here says negative x and a positive 2, so it's going to be in this quadrant here. Okay, so I look here and I go, okay, so I go back 1 and then I go up to 1, 2. So my next one is here. Okay, and then I put my little number, 1, Sorry, it's hard to see that one. Not very good. Okay, now let's move on to another coordinate. So we're going to do one more coordinate and then we'll be done. Okay, so our last coordinate is going to be negative for both. Okay, so I'm going to go negative 2 and negative 3. Alright, so you can see negative 2 for the x and negative 3 for a y. So you, if you look at this quadrant here, says negative x, negative y, so it's this quadrant, this section, and I'm going to go to the left two times, so one, two, and then I'm going to go down three, one, two, three. So that's my point right there. I go negative two, negative three. Okay, hopefully that helps you. I'll look at it and see um, what you think.